Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you all doing well. Welcome back. Moview is here again. Today I'll show you a 2011 comedy, drama movie called The Untouchables. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care if you haven't watched yet. But first, let me introduce you to this movie's cast. Francois Cluzet as Philippe. Omar Sy as Bakary, Driss, Basari. Audrey Fleurot as Magali. Anne Le N.Y. as Yvonne. Clotilde Mollet as Marcel. And now, enjoy the movie. At night in Paris, Driss is driving Philippe's Maserati Quattro Porte at high speed. Chased through the streets by the police, they are eventually cornered. Driss claims the quadriplegic Philippe must get to the emergency room urgently. Philippe pretends to have a seizure and the fooled police officers escort them. After arriving at the hospital, Driss drives away. The story of friendship between the two men is then told as a flashback. Philippe, a wealthy quadriplegic owner of a luxurious hotel particulier, and his assistant Magali are interviewing potential live-in caregivers. Driss has no ambitions to get hired and is just there to get a signature on a document proving his interview was rejected, to continue with his welfare benefits. He is told to come back the next morning to collect his signed document. The next day when Driss returns, Philippe's aide Yvonne greets him, telling him he has the job on a trial basis. Despite being uninterested and inexperienced, he does well caring for Philippe, although using unconventional methods. Driss learns the extent of his employer's disability, aiding Philippe in every aspect of his life. A friend of Philippe's reveals that Driss was in jail for six months for robbery, but Philippe disregards the warnings, not caring about Driss's past. As Driss is the only one who does not treat Philippe with pity, he will not fire Driss as long as he does his job properly. Philippe explains his disability was from a paragliding accident and that his wife died without bearing children. Gradually, Driss helps him to organize his private life, including disciplining his precocious adopted daughter Elisa. Driss discovers modern art, opera and starts painting. For Philippe's birthday, a private classical music concert is performed in his living room. Philippe educates Driss on famous classical pieces, but Driss only recognizes them as advert music or cartoon themes. Feeling the concert is too boring, Driss plays Earth Wind and Fire's Boogie Wonderland, livening up the party, with the guests also enjoying the music. Discovering Philippe has a purely epistolary relationship with a woman called Eleonore, who lives in Dunkirk, Driss encourages his employer to meet her, but Philippe fears her reaction when she discovers his disability. Driss convinces him to talk to her by phone. Philippe agrees to send a photo of himself in a wheelchair to her, but he hesitates and asks his aide, Yvonne, to send a picture as he was before his accident. A date between them is agreed, but at the last minute, Philippe is too scared to meet Eleonore and leaves with Yvonne before she arrives. Philippe then calls Driss, inviting him to fly with him in his Dassault Falcon 900 private jet for a paragliding weekend in the Alps. Driss's younger cousin Adam, in trouble with a gang, comes to fetch Driss at the mansion on the pretext of delivering mail. Overhearing, Philippe recognizes Driss's need to be supportive to his family and releases him from his job, suggesting he may not want to push a wheelchair all his life. Driss returns home, joins his friends and manages to help his younger cousin. In the meantime, new caregivers have replaced Driss, but Philippe is not happy with any of them. His morale is very low and he stops taking care of himself. He grows a beard and looks ill. Worried, Yvonne calls Driss back. Upon arrival, Driss drives Philippe in the Maserati, which brings the story back to the initial police chase. After they elude the police, Driss takes Philippe to the seaside. Upon Philippe's shaving and dressing elegantly, they arrive at a Kaburg restaurant on the seafront. Driss suddenly leaves the table, saying good luck to Philippe on his lunch date. A few seconds later, Eleonore arrives. Emotionally touched, Philippe looks through the window and sees Driss outside, smiling at him. Driss bids Philippe farewell and walks away as Philippe and Eleonore chat and enjoy each other's company. The film ends with shots of Philippe Pozo di Borgo and Abdul Selu, the people on whom the story is based, together on a hillside, reminiscent of the paragliding scene earlier in the film. The closing caption states that the men remain close friends to this day. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.